एवरीवन एम आई ऑडिबल वेरी हार्टी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम टू आर सेशन ऑन स्टेप अप फॉर ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग एडुकेट एंड सपोर्ट वी आर ग्लैड टू हैव डॉक्टर नित्या बाबू कुमार अमंग टूडे टू हेल्प अस एक्सप्लोर द टॉपिक breast feeding is the primary process to deliver nutrition to your newborn and is one of the most important activities in the life of a mother and a child breast feeding should be guided by experts in lactation management guidance may be offered in a hospital libraries community centers schools or breast feeding groups that aim to support mothers in their breast feeding journeys as long as they want to the best person to consult is an expert who can educate us on the breast feeding so doctor you have the stage thank you thank you so much uh, as she said the theme for this 2022 is educate step up for breastfeeding educate and support why is this awareness it's awareness not only to the individuals it is to the community as well as the government why is this initiation is because most of the uh, mothers who find it very difficult especially in the postnatal that is postpartum period most of the mothers going for depression because they are they think they could not produce sufficient breast milk and the way they have a very uh, scary uh, scare that their kid is not growing good their baby is not growing good and the milk is not sufficient for them is this true are we supporting this breast uh, breastfeeding mothers is the initiative especially uh, for the neonates also the diseases what they suffer if the mother is not breastfeeding so today let's go to the topic um you can also uh, pour your questions in the chat box okay so why is this importance of breast milk why is this repeatedly everybody is saying you have to breastfeed especially in the golden hours and you have to breastfeed up to 6 months uh, some even say up to a year of life or 2 years why is that so important is because breastfeeding is easily available it is very easy for the mother as soon as she gives birth it is the first thing the first milk that you have to give to the baby so let us speak about this golden hours is it true should we latch to the mother within uh, say 30 minutes or 60 minutes as soon as uh, the the mother delivers the baby yes the first form milk is the colostrum and maximum in case of normal delivery immediately after the delivery they resuscitate the baby and put the baby to the mother for initiating the breast milk if it is a cesarean it may be delayed for an hour but not more than that uh, many of them i see now is they google and they come out with lot of wrong informations and they keep requesting the doctors that was my baby given to the mother immediately sometimes the resuscitation period will take a few minutes or sometimes the baby needs oxygen or the baby is not ready to feed that your neonatologist may know better so definitely they will uh, put your baby to the mother and there's no doubt but i see couples asking uh, so many questions uh, should uh, should the baby put in gold and ask come on i have to feed 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 immediately first take rest you may be delivered just now Uh, your episiotomy uh, they would have sutured your episiotomy even lscs they would have just shifted to the recovery room take some time uh, don't be such panic second thing they come up with immediately they put on the breast and they worry that breast feeding like the breast milk is not coming is that true uh, immediately as soon as they delivered the the breast milk uh, is uh, what to say the their breast is full of milk only their ducts starts producing milk and they are ready to feed only thing is they need the sucking reflex the baby while latching needs to suck on the breast and the hormones let's say uh, the lactogen estrogen progesterone all these hormones will start initiating the breast feeding their ducts their breast uh, is often closed the lactiferous ducts is often closed which is used which should be clean and then the further sucking of the babies it initiates the breastfeeding so don't be so panicky that you are not able to produce milk or you are not able to feed milk this is the second most common myth i have to discuss with so regarding next um, uh, next common question what they ask is like 
should i breastfeed for so many uh, months so many days or so many how many hours i should feed uh, what are the latching position etc regarding this awareness of latching position and how many hours to feed is like i'll speak now um so your neonatologist after i mean your after delivery your neonatologist will inform about the importance of breastfeeding and how soon you have to latch on to the breast the baby is have to latch on the breast uh, every two hours say the mother has to be uh, uh, has to know about the uh, aha what to say hourly regime every two hours she should feed the baby every 20 say, say 20 minutes for every feed 10 minutes to one breast 10 minutes to the other breast before initiating the feeding she should massage and uh, palpate that uh, for her breast clean her nipples say with not with soap just with water or just wipe the nipple and put uh, put the baby on the breast 20 20 minutes say if she feeds 10 minutes 10 minutes a breast will be flabby after feeding then the neonatologist or pediatrician will say about the burping that is once uh the breastfeeding is uh, done your baby should be put over the shoulders and burped so that the gas will come out after that they can uh, what to say put in the cradle this 20 minutes of feeding when the baby is taking a full feed it will sleep for the next 2 to 3 hours definitely after uh, regular feeding the baby will sleep good as well as the next thing uh, to know that the baby is sufficiently fed is the urine output baby may pass 3 to 4 times sometimes 5 times urine output is there so this sure this ensures that the mother is feeding good sometimes the baby may uh, cry earlier that is not to us maybe in a, another one hour or so if the diapers is wet to start crying and asking for milk in that case she can also feed the baby uh, whenever the baby is crying don't panic yourself that they come into conclusion that they are not producing enough milk the baby may cry for number of reasons the diapers may be wet they may be feel gaseous distension so that uh, another reasons also can be they may feel insecure as soon as a few hours of birth etc so don't uh, come to conclusion that you're not fed well again again don't overfeed the baby next important thing is like they tend to overfeed the baby regarding diet the post delivery as soon as the mother has delivered the baby she would not have eaten for the first because of lsa cesarean section she would not uh, she would be in the fasting for 6 hours or so uh so the milk uh, so the milk quantity will be insufficient so uh, also they panic that i am not able to produce enough milk don't panic once you start your feed your oral diet definitely you will be able to produce milk okay the colostrum which is the first form milk will be very thick and it is uh, somewhat yellow in color this colostrum the first form milk is rich in proteins so which which is responsible for the baby's development apart from protein it has immunoglobulins and cholesterol uh, which is very much needed for the baby uh, so as after feeding the breast milk starts producing insufficient quantity they come and ask what are the diets i should eat which what are, should i eat too much so that i can feed every every hour uh, there's also a myth that uh, girl babies drink more uh, drink less and boy babies there's enormous uh, what to say demand for, is more so uh, should i eat more for that and they start eating more to produce milk so eat as and when required make sure you have a as a mother you have a balanced diet so that you can produce enough sufficient amount of milk it is a nature's call and uh, sometimes uh, there will be insufficient milk i do understand for some women which can be rectified by diets and certain supplements we routinely give but breastfeeding is is essential uh, the the confidence the mother has the bonding with the baby as well as psychological support from the families and relatives what they give is important for initiating of breastfeeding 
uh, the supplements also can be taken in that period when th that time those times when uh, the milk is insufficient so uh, what are uh, what are the benefits of breastfeeding so benefits as per se both for the mother and the baby there are a number of things uh, which the mother uh, uh, what to say loses uh, say first the mother starts feeding it a uh, hormones called oxytocin which secretes from her brain and this oxytocin what does it do it shrinks the uterus so during pregnancy a uterus is large so it has to come down to the pre pregnancy state for that you try to convolute this oxytocin is essential this breastfeeding regular continuous breastfeeding say in day times uh, 7 to 8 times regular feeding she can even come back to her shape the mother uh, her tummy reduces her uterus goes involute she gains her figure back those are figure conscious i would recommend them to feed uh, their babies regularly second thing for the mother apart from uh, uterine involution even it can prevent uterine cancers there's cancer ovaries and breast cancer can be prevented so early initiation and regular breastfeeding breast cancer is also prevented the bonding between the mother and the baby improves a lot uh, if the why is they say the bonding is so important the tender loving care the kmc what they say gives protection to the baby the baby uh, attaches to latches more so the bonding is very important and this initiate the breastfeeding even it prevents postpartum blues what they call it. most of the women uh, faces this postpartum blues they have a depression they feel somebody is taking their babies away so by uh, regularly feeding them it creates a bond between the mother and the baby so what does it do to the baby as I said, the cholesterol is rich in protein, so it helps in a, uh, building of, I mean, the growth of the baby. Uh, then the milk, especially as a lot of properties, say anti-allergic, uh, the IgE in milk, anti-infective, a lot of antiviral properties. So this breast milk, apart from filling the tummy, it also protects the baby by giving the sufficient immunoglobulin by birth they don't have much anti-fighting properties but through the breast milk if they're sufficiently fed well the babies do gain all this what are the uh, short-term benefits let's see the babies will not have ear infection respiratory infection gi infection especially gastrointestinal infection the colicky type of pain if artificial milk is fed then sudden infant death syndrome can be prevented if the baby is breastfed adequately what are the long-term benefits if you see the growth and the development of the baby will be fine? Mainly obesity. Nowadays, the kids are prone to sedentary lifestyle. So this breastfeeding initiation, the earlier age, prevents childhood obesity. Thereby, cardiovascular and diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Breastfeeding children are usually have a high Q, higher high Q when compared to the rest of the childhood. Also, it can prevent childhood cancers. The same for the mother, as I said, long term. Um, uh, so what are the diets she should have before breastfeeding? As I said, don't overeat. Make sure you have a good balanced diet of protein, fats. They will ask me, doctor, can you say me some of the galactogens? What is that? Is like milk producing drug. So uh, there are uh, a certain substance which produce a lot of milk. So make sure you include green vegetables in your diet. So regularly you have during your I mean after during your pregnancy as soon as after delivery also regular having of vegetables and salads is recommended. Proteins also produce enough milk. Having dairy products like milk per se can give you enough secretion of milk. Fish is good source of proteins. Definitely will produce enough milk. But fenugreek, garlic. There are little substances, even uh, white, soji, all these produce enough milk. But don't overeat. They immediately come to me asking, can I in give her regularly garlic milk? Garlic, they take five, ten pods and they keep drinking that. What happens? Obviously, the baby will have gaseous distension. It starts crying. 
So the mother thinks the baby is crying, so I have to feed more. The milk is insufficient. They keep eating it. So avoid this. Uh, get a dietitian counseling and know what you have to eat properly. Along with that, you can ask your neonatologist if this is okay, if she is having. Regarding supplements, nowadays regularly they are taking supplements uh, to produce enough breast milk. Um, any questions you have? Natural supplements. Can I take artificial supplements for me and my baby for breast milk? Yeah. Uh, artificial supplements, uh, what you have anything or your doctor has recommended is I want to know that. If your doctor has not recommended, then always ask your gynecologist, ask the neonatologist before taking any supplements. Having a milk that is routinely during pregnancy, you would have had mother's milk or some protein powder will produce milk. Also, nowadays, regularly, they give this lactate tablet capsules. It is a, some medicinal property. So definitely that also will produce milk. Galact granules or lactate, uh, mother's horlicks. These supplements are artificial. We give to enhance more breastfeeding. Apart from the natural foods, you can take those. So uh, regarding the techniques of breastfeeding, uh, a mother before feeding, say normal delivery or cesarean section, make sure you are in a comfortable position, comfortable seating positions. Okay, you have to sit properly and latch your baby properly before breastfeeding. You have to clean your breast and the nipple. And the baby should not be warm and wet. The support is essential so that the baby uh, latches onto the breast properly. While latching also, uh, you can get the help of your somebody relatives or staff nurse. So that latching should be proper. The breast, the entire areola and the nipple should be latched. Sometimes the baby, instead of latching to the areola, keeps sucking on the nipple and starts biting, thereby nipple sores. This is another most common postpartum complaints they say with the nipple sores. How to avoid it? The latching techniques, if it is wrong, are the main reasons for the nipple sores. Uh, you can even apply some medications over there and wash it and feed regularly. If you have too much of pain, start trying pumping. So you can use a breast pump and then you can feed the baby with this. Uh, the infant body should be well turned to the mother. Always don't lie on the bed and feed. Make sure the head is little raised and not flat. Okay. And next important thing, you have to burp properly. There are various positions. They say crisscross position, uh, football position and uh, lying by the side position, etc. So you can discuss with the neonatologist and make sure which is comfortable to you because you may have delivered recently your episiotomy wound would pain, your cesarean side wound would pain. So always don't lie down and feed. Make sure you sit in a proper position and then feed. Uh, any more doubts? No questions. Yes, 